Hello everybody, welcome to another video. It's another day. It's uh, not so sunny today. It's a little cloudy. But a little cool. People are... <laughs> I'm still in a t-shirt and shorts. <laughs> People are out here wearing jackets and hats and toques, but... I'm fat and I got that Canadian blood in me. I'm used to cold winters. <laughs> like where my parents live right now. It's uh, minus, what was it, minus 20 or something like that? Minus 15. And so here it's only 15 degrees positive. And uh, so I guess it is a little chilly, but it's nice I like it <laughs> so but welcome back welcome back another video it's wellness Wednesday today so I'm gonna talk about some I'm gonna talk about um, cheat days today that's what I was talking about so I had a cheat day on the weekend I had some Wendy's very unhealthy food uh, I also had a little bit of KFC I know, not good, not healthy. I didn't eat the buns, though, with Wendy's. I didn't have the buns. I just ate the, the meat and the cheese. But, uh, with, oh, I'll go show you this little nice little thing they put up. This is new, they put it up like a couple months ago. Yeah, no, I didn't have the buns, just ate the meat. The cheese had a Baconator. And then, uh, Let's see, the KFC it was just chicken strips, so, and chicken wings. I know it's breaded and oiled in bad seed oils and not very healthy for you, but that's the cheat day. <laughs> so, and I know it's not very much with the bread in it, it is carbohydrates, but yeah. So yeah, here's the thing I want to show you guys. That's a beautiful little thing, you know. Maybe one day I can do that same pose there, once I get skinny and fit, but yeah, it's a beautiful thing. And again, I'm walking through my favorite park, as always, but I'll show you some different areas of the park today as we walk around. Oh, just about fell. And yeah, a little sabaka. Monoga sabaka. Yes, Noga Sabak. My Russian's becoming better slowly. I'm learning slowly. Tomorrow I have a, a Russian lesson that I'm not going to forget to film and I'll make sure I post it on the channel for all y'all to see. So it's going to be good. But yeah, cheat days. I, I read a lot online. I see people, it's like, everybody gets so angry, right? Some people are okay with it, some people are not. But I see a lot of people, they get angry, they're like, Oh, you say you're eating carnivore, but then you had fruit. Or you say you're eating carnivore, and then you had a hamburger. Or, oh, you had a, your carnivore, but then you have a poutine. Canadian dish, look it up, Google. It's delicious very very unhealthy delicious but yeah I see a lot of people say that and it's it just baffles me baffles me baffles me baffles me because you know we I think we get stuck in these ideologies right carnivore veganism standard American diet Whatever these ideologies are, we get stuck in them without looking at the bigger picture of health, right? Like, I'm trying to do what makes me the healthiest. Lowers my risk of disease and death and things like that. That's why I eat carnivore. Carnivore. But I think you should do what makes you feel the best and what makes you the healthiest. Yeah, just look at this thing. This thing's so cool. I don't know what it is exactly, but 
It's a very interesting little thing. Well, no, it's not little. Almost reminds me of like a plow. Like an old plow wagon. You know, there's the bottom part that would drive into the dirt. You have the seats fall down there. And thing. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. And the skyline of Batum. Maybe I should, uh, I need to do a video at night, show you the night lights of Batum. It's quite beautiful. Um, but yeah, no, cheat days. You know, I look back at it as like, first we have to do what makes us healthy, but I like keeping things simple. And I like looking at, sorry, I'm looking at the ground because I don't want to step in dog poop. <laughs> but uh, I like keeping things simple. I like looking back through history and, and looking how we would have acted. You know, when hunter-gatherers, we would have eaten 90% meat, 95% meat. Um, and so, you know, like, we would have, that would have been our major food source. We would have gotten 90 to 95% of our nutrition from meat. Or we would have hunted the big, big mammoth, or we'd have hunted the, the big bison or the big cows. Because there used to be a lot more big fauna and uh, big animals on planet Earth. Like today on Earth, our animals are a lot smaller than what they used to be. <clears throat> so we would have hunted these big animals, and they would have been able to feed us for, you know, for a while, a week or two, and then we would have had times with no food, right? So we would have eaten for eight, for maybe three, four days, and then we would have been fasted for, you know, four, four days, three days while we were hunting. But during those fasting days, if we seen tasty berries, we might have grabbed a handful. Or we seen a good root or a carrot or something, we would have eaten it. Right? It wouldn't have been a main source and it wouldn't have been often. Or honey. Well, if we saw honey in the tree, we would have grabbed the honey. And so things like that would have definitely happened in 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 the history, in the past before. And, and so I don't see this whole thing about, oh, cheat days. It's like you don't have a cheat day. You know, if you're going out with friends, don't worry about eating. Oh, hello. Don't worry about going out. If you're going out with friends, don't worry. Have, have your dinner. Enjoy the social aspect of it. Because social aspects are also important. Right? We humans are social creatures. But the thing is, don't, don't have a cheat day every day. Right? It's not what you do at Christmas time that kills you. It's what you do the remaining 364 days of the year. So, I have no problem with cheat days. And, uh, yeah, I think it's much, not much. I think it's just common, right? Like, you look even in the wild, right? Lions, dogs, cats, they're all carnivores, 100% carnivores. No one would argue that. But you still see, you know, a lion in the wild will eat some grass sometimes. A cat will go and eat some grass sometimes. Dogs will eat other food too, especially if they're starving. Animals, we are animals, we do what we need to survive. But in our prime diet, you know, we have a little bit, so. Yeah. <sighs> it's a beautiful day today. <laughs> Not as beautiful as the sunshine, but it's still such a good day to get out walking. The cool air, the nice deep breath. The breeze everything's still so green here right still so green so beautiful you know I have to be thankful every day thankful to God thankful to my family thankful to, to everybody who supports me thankful to you guys who watch that uh, Yeah, that I, I'm here and I'm doing these things, right? <laughs> so, it's it's wonderful, it's wonderful. I love it. But yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you for being here with me on this journey. Journey of a lifetime. Lifelong journey of health and improvement. Where we become better men, better humans, better women following the set gender roles, following our biology, 
following our traditions and our religions, doing what we need to do to bring better, better lives to society, bring better joy to more joy to society. Bad English, sorry. And yeah, just become better. You know, where we live in the real world, like I always say. We have to learn to live in the real world, improve ourselves in the real world. The real world is scary, unforgiving, dangerous place. When we learn to learn to live in it, to improve ourselves, to follow the biology, to follow these traditions, uh, it becomes much easier. All right. So yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. And uh, if you liked it, then leave a like. Leave that like, that thumbs up, baby. If you want to watch more, subscribe. I'll try to show more areas. I've been, it's been difficult, it's been raining. So I haven't been able to get around as much. <clears throat> but I try to do some walking through the city and uh, show some areas of the city. So some, show some areas on the other side of the, the sea there follow the sea line maybe show a couple other beaches and uh, and yeah the nightlife too I'll come and make a video at night one time so I can show you what it looks like at night and yeah if you want to see more subscribe and uh, yeah join me on this journey like always until next time